get your account. You're listening to KCAA Loma Linda at 106.5 FM, K293CF, Moreno Valley. Welcome to the Journey to Business and Entrepreneurship. My name is Brianna Prince, and today we have a, I actually have a co-host, Portia Dillard, who is uh, (laughs) the CEO and owner of a nonprofit called Off the Chain Alliance. Correct. And then today we're actually interviewing Miss Lucretia Dowdy. Hey, what's up? What's up, (laughs) y'all? Now, Lou, um, so I know you prefer to go by Lou, so yes. I'll call you Lou. Oh, okay. no, it's all good. Yes, ma'am. Um, so first off, give us an overview of who you are. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, um, my name is Lucretia Dowdy. Um, um, I go by um, Lou. Um, born and raised here in San Bernardino, um, California. I am. Um, I work for First Vice San Bernardino. I am a communication specialist. Been working for the county for I believe 18 years now. Nice. Um, I just got recognized. I got a shout that out. Um, Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you for the um, Public Service Award, um, which is very. Um, I-, I love it because that's what I am—a servant. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I have my own nonprofit, which we um, actually infuse um, entertainment and production with causes okay. so like mental health illness or um anything like help like with the homeless or at risk youth so we like to kind of like just marry the entertainment portion to bring more light on um the causes that we're trying to um the highlight and then we have our for-profit loop production which is entertainment everything so we <laughs> do um talent shows competitions cook-offs oh, um nice. That's, everything that I can't even so think. Fun. Yeah, burlesque, burlesque shows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a burlesque show. Um, we work with a lot of hip hop artists, um, poetry. We do a lot of stuff online wow. as well, live entertainment, comedians. So, I'm a writer, um, um, as well as a director. Um, I'm a singer, entrepreneur. Um, yeah, I'm a mother. I'm a child of God. You are so that well rounded. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's our <not> job. <laughs> so, like, how did you get involved in your and what you do in nonprofit and being a, having a nonprofit in the first place? Awesome. Thank you. Um, great question. Um, well, um, so I started. Um, let's say doing my um, for-profit um, before I became a for-profit, which was Lou Production and Entertainment. I really, I started in the church, you know, I gave all praises to God. Um, I was allowed to be able to work with um, the youth and um, and just seeing their talents and being able to do plays and different um, shows with the youth. But then I discovered that, you know, um, outside of the church, it was talented youth, like, you know, you rolling up and down the street and whatnot, and they out there in the, in the yard, you know, getting it, you know what I'm saying, where they <laughs> rapping or, or dancing or whatever the case may be so I was like hey you know let me take because it's a ministry period all day long yeah so I was like well let me take um excuse me y'all I'm, 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 you know I don't want my nose to be running off on <laughs> when, uh, my allergies um you know so I wanted to be able to not just tap into the the church children that I was working with but all youth you know what I mean mm-hmm. so then um that happened and then um and then just started working within the county and um, working with different um, organizations and their causes <laughs> and kind of seeing how, you know, they'll call me, hey, Lou, you got someone who can sing at this benefit or someone who can. And so kind of just we was already doing the work, you right. know, feeding the homeless and just, you know, working. So it just made sense to go ahead and start our own nonprofit. And, you know, so that's where we at today. Okay. Well, yeah. So, okay. Well, my question again, um, my name is Portia and Dillard again, and I have a nonprofit called off the chain Alliance. I assist the disenfranchised minority families with wraparound services for grief. And our overall objective is to help in funeral poverty. So with that, um, my question to you is why do you think now is the time to really push your mission or your goal? Oh, um, well definitely because I see, um, it dwindling a little bit as far as like I said I do I marry the entertainment with um with causes um I'm really big on the performing arts you know um a lot of cutbacks and stuff like that in the school so that you know the kids don't have an outlet like they once used to with different um you know um when it comes to entertainment and that's a form of expression you know what i mean um as far as i'm concerned it helps to relieve stress um you know keeping kids out of trouble not even kids just adults too because we work with not just youth but um adults as well but um i definitely think that um 
it's needed. Is that what the question you asked me? Yeah, like what's the, what, why is it important to push your goal or your mission? Yeah, I, I think it's important because, like I said, we, we wrap it around different causes. So um, mental health is going to always be here. Um, you know, homelessness is going to always be here. Um, so I, I definitely think that, um, you know, yeah, it's important to keep pushing it forward, you know, so if that makes sense. Yeah, gotcha. definitely. Gotcha. Now, where do you guys usually have a lot of your shows and performances and stuff? Because that sounds so amazing. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Queen. Um, we are, um, like I said, I'm an IE Dino baby. Um, my goal was to, everyone runs, um, you know, and I get it, you know, the Hollywood and LA, um, you know, in search of a platform mm -hmm. or in search of, you know, um, being able to connect with different individuals, you know, they feel that can help them. Um, so I, I, I was um, big on no, 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 right here in our own backyard. We have everything we need. We have all of the um, the ingredients, you know, it's just like making a big old pot of gumbo, you know, um, got this person who does this, this person who does that, and that person who does that, you know, and just putting it all together. So I think it's very important mm -hmm. to rep your your city, your town, where you're from, and then bring businesses, business here, because what, you know, what we do, it, it, it is the business right. to, at the end of the day, is showcasing people's talents, you know, and hopefully, you know, someone can see them and, you know, yeah. and like, hey, you know, I want to hire you for X, Y, and Z, because it's not that we just deal with the talent, but we deal with all aspects. So we deal with videographers, photographers, you know, um, individuals who, um, do um styling and um, um you makeup know and, yeah makeup artists so it's just the whole aspect entertainment is a business period yeah. you know one of the biggest businesses you know here in the world so um yeah That's we're right here in our own backyard with it but we we go other places as well but it takes a lot for me to um to leave and go somewhere else because <laughs> they be she trying <laughs> They be like, come on to LA. I be like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right. We good right here in San Bernardino. I think that's great though that you're, you guys do focus um, out here because I mean, our youth need need help too, yes, <laughs> right. Uh, right? Of course. Now, when with your youth, because I assume that you guys primarily focus within the IE, is that essentially correct, or is it yes. more specifically San Bernardino area in the Inland Empire? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, what is your guys' overall objective with helping the youth? Is, um, it, is it to like keep them from you know keep them engaged in in activities that right that are right, positive right so I I don't want to um cause I could put you know because we're not a, a a facility like um like let me just shout out um my boy young Terrence uh, Terrence from Young Visionaries like you know that's what they're they're geared and what they do we work with um with everybody um and. What our goal is, especially with the entertainment por portion of it, is just try to provide a platform for them to be able to, um, you know, d express themselves and do what okay. it is um, that they do d um, through our different events and competitions and things of that nature. Like, um, we're looking for um, youth right now um, for, um, we have a $500 um, youth competition that we do in the summer. And the reason why we do stuff like that. you know every you know some a lot of kids are aren't privy to be able to go to vacations and yeah. you know and travel and they're here mm -hmm. still you know and um so just not even me just anybody who has any kind of awesome programs during the summer to keep them you know active and you know yeah. and off the streets in, in in a positive manner and then those who are <coughs> excuse me who are who are talented, who are in the game, you know, because, you know, you have some youth who are dancing and singing and rapping and all that and the other, yeah. just giving them another, um, um, you know, um, I guess you could say again, platform to be able to, um, or opportunity to sharpen their skills even more, okay. you know, because we do the whole nine, we do like the whole red carpet um, oh, event, yeah. we interview them, we let That's them know awesome. about their attire, you know, like what to look, you know, how to, um, you know, your social media. Mm -hmm. um, so just give them tools and tips, that, um, you know, if they're really serious about it, you know. That's fantastic. So how do, um, how do <clears throat> youth and parents find you guys um, and, and learn about you guys? Um, do, you, do you guys like advertise on social media or... How 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 does someone find you guys? Yes, we we uh, we advertise on social media. Um, they can always look us up on our website. We have two websites. We have the for profit, which is Lou Productions. That's L U E Productions with an S. Um, dot org. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a dot org, and then um, we have our nonprofit, which is LP 
LP Community Umbrella Services. Um, um, dot yeah dot dot org. Dot org. And then maybe yeah. Amazon dot com. Maybe the no, 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 that, no, no, that's the dot com. The Loop Productions is the dot org. org. Yeah, I'm getting them mixed up. So, <laughs> But either way, you can find us, L-U-E right. Productions mm -hmm. with an S. We are on all social media platforms. That's um, um, what, Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram, TikTok, not so much. We getting there. <laughs> so I, I know you were saying that you're, um, you you deal with the youth. Is there any other targeted group of people that you like to support on, with Loop Productions under Loop Productions? Uh, that's a good question. Thank you. We support everybody, um, Miss Portia Dillard. <laughs> we um, <laughs> <laughs> <It's a formal>. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We uh, we don't discriminate because I don't care if you over fifty. If you got a talent and you you're looking for an opportunity to be able to showcase it, and then we can provide that platform for you. Why not? I'm going to give an example. It's a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours named Maurice Howard. Um, this man has to be, what he's in his maybe 60? No, he's 72. Se wow, 72. And such a hidden talent can sing his behind okay. off. Mm -hmm. and, um, on the way. Yeah, girl, I don't put it, you know, he won, we did, because we do all kinds of different competitions. We mm -hmm. had an online competition. He won that $500 competition. <laughs> then we had him for like our burlesque shows. And then um, dinner and jazz. We had a little j dinner and jazz thing mm. happening. And he was like one of our featured. Um, but I say that to say that if you want to try, if this is something that you, you know, thinking about getting into you know yeah try us you know we we always so have fantastic. something for somebody yeah yeah so we have our plus size comp we haven't done it in a minute we gonna try to get back to it but our plus size bbw competition mm -hmm. as well if you're size 14 and up um just showcasing um you know um larger women um is yeah, it a we, dance competition no it's a, um, an actual model competition Oh, nice. I was in the first one. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we had three. So I think we got three, three queens. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, shout out to um, D. De La Cruz, um, Trisunda De La Cruz, and who was our third? Um, Renee Fuller. Oh, Renee yeah. Fuller. yeah, shout out. And then also our first, very first queen, Crystal Yvonne. Um, when we just had our regular model competition, um, she um, represents for the little petites. Yeah. So we, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are so involved with, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think that you guys provide a great platform, it sounds like, Thank from you. what you're, you're telling me. And it's extremely exciting to hear about the fact that even anyone, you know, even I can... Come and join. Don't tell me you, you want to try something or don't hum around me. Don't. <laughs> so, I'll be like, wait a minute. Yeah. So. She will throw you in there. She will throw you yeah. in there. So do, do you guys have like uh, performances? Not, I know you guys have performances, mm -hmm. but I assume that you guys have like some sort of like training or practice or something like that too, or is it just performances? Well, it, it, it all depends. Uh, for example, like our, you know, the burlesque show. So we're working mm -hmm. on our uh, murder mystery dinner show, mm -hmm. um, which is October the 28th um, in San Bernardino. Um, check out all the information on our um, website. Um, so something like that, we do gear up and rehearse because you got to rehearse for that. So we have right. um, scheduled rehearsals. Um, if it's like a competition, we may have like a dress rehearsal or something like that. So it all depends on what the actual, um, what, what it is that we're offering to where um, we'll have rehearsals. Okay. So like I have nieces and nephews. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're little though. I don't know if, it, if there's like age, age limits or something like that. Uh, the oldest is seven. She'll be eight this year. Um, nice. And then uh, the, there's a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and then a baby. <laughs> Nice, nice. We take a, if they can behave themselves and um, take um, instructions. We yeah, we we you know Lou love the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does. We um, yeah, we um, cause you never know. I look at it. Our youth is our future. Yeah, you know, and 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 I. Cause I'm talented, you know what I'm saying, and I, you know a lot I of people tell. don't. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I can sing, I can do my thing, but I never have the um uh, individual to push me or mm. support me. I didn't, you, you know, shout out to my yeah. mother. You know, she was a, a single mom in the military and did her thing. Um, thank God for her. Um, but because she was, I didn't have that support, you know, to help me hone on my my talents and um, yeah. my skills. So I think that's, I know for a fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm so big on 
trying to help others mm -hmm. um, in any way um, that I can, whether, you know, it's providing a pl platform or giving um, advice, especially our young ones, because you just never know, you know, who you know who, who they may be may be the next usher may be the next right. um whitney or celine dion or you know what i mean um type of a thing but you know sometimes you just never know until you know you gotta help them that's all they need a little help a little push a little support so okay yeah awesome well we're gonna actually go to, on a brief break so we'll be right back with you guys cool hey hey has openings for one hour talk shows if you want to host a radio show now is the time make kcaa your flagship station our rates are affordable and our services are second to none we broadcast to a population of five million people plus we stream and podcast on all major online audio and video systems if you've been thinking about broadcasting a weekly radio program on real radio plus the internet contact our ceo at 281-599-9800 281-599 9900 You can Skype your show from your home to our Redlands, California studio where our live producers and engineers are ready to work with you personally. A radio program on KCAA is the perfect work from home avocation in these stressful times. Just type KCAARadio.com into your browser to learn more about hosting a show on the best station in the nation or call our CEO for details 281-599-9800. <laughs> Welcome back to the Journey to Business and Entrepreneurship. My name is Brianna Prince, and I'm here with Portia Dillard hey. and Lou Dowdy. Hey, what's up, I? <laughs> now, Lou, you were just telling us a little bit, a uh, little bit of a story on yes, on break. Uh, you want to kind of elaborate a little bit more on what that was about? Certainly, certainly. Once again, thank you for the platform, Queen. Absolutely. Um, I was just saying that um, a lot of times, like we have a like our plus size model competition, and. Um, it's, you know, we are there to help, like, motivate, uplift, and, you know, and just be there for individuals. And and we're providing, a, um, you know, a safe environment. And, you know, I had a young lady who um, basically had told us she was a part of one of, our, I think, our first or second model competition. And she was on the verge of committing suicide. And um, I didn't know that. And I didn't know that, um, you know, that she was going through all this during the competition mm -hmm. um, until after the fact. And she wrote this long, you know, um, post on Facebook. And someone was like, hey, Lou, did you see that? I'm like, no. I went and checked it out. And, you know, definitely brought tears to my eyes. You know, she mm -hmm. was saying that, you know, she's going to end it all. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, getting involved in the competition and me, myself, and our team and just the other girls gave her hope um you know and she felt like i can do this you know so yeah. you just never know yeah. who you're touching who you're helping and you know i feel like um i you know you're blessed when you know your purpose in life and i know my calling my purpose and it's, it is to touch other people yeah. and to help edify and to help uplift everybody i mean what are you here for you here on earth just for yourself that's selfish yeah mm. you know mm. yeah. so well, it's good that you know how to fulfill your purpose and I'm glad you're purposeful, and I'm thankful for you being here. Well, thank you, thank yeah, you so I'm much for you being a cool human. So, with that being said, I'm a cute, cool human. You're <laughs> cool. You're such a cool human. Um, well, speaking on that, can you think about how you can get um, Lou Productions umbrella community services? Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. How do you want that your nonprofit to impact change? Um, um, that's a great question. I want um, our nonprofit, I want it to be known as a resource for everybody. Um, so, and then not only just a resource, but also a ministry um, as well to be able to um, help others in their endeavors. Um, so, and it's not just entertainment, you know, um, with me coming, you know, working 18 years in the county, I love First Five San Bernardino because I was raised there too, you know, first five allow me to be able to elevate my skill sets. And, um, you know, I say like, I go from the, you know, the streets to the corporate seats quickly, you know what I'm saying? I can be hood and then I can, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I got to like, Hey, you know what I mean? So I, I, I have, so I definitely, um, with our nonprofit, I want to be able to, um, like I said, just have a, um, a platform for individual, anybody, um, to um, be able to express themselves and their gifts and their talents and whatever services that they're um, 
needing to be able to tap into. Um, if we can't do it, um, you know, we we are connectors. We know individuals who may pr be able to provide and connect them with um, the resources that they need. So yeah, just being just um, you know a household name, mm -hmm. you know, in the Dino. Um, you know, and I want people to know that we are like all state. You are, we are, you can trust us, you know, so. Okay, yeah. cool. So how, you know, I've, I've known people who are interested in, um, you know, building their own nonprofit, mm -hmm. but, you know, I'm curious to know, first of all, how you got in that. Did you find people to help you along the way? How did you, um, how were you able to get that all sort of sorted out and situated? Yeah, so um, great question. Um, I, you know, honestly, I was one who um, didn't, you know, I didn't want to do the nonprofit thing. I didn't want, um, because, you know, I like to do my own <laughs> mess, you know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? You know, when you <laughs> nonprofit, you got to follow them, them rules and them regulations and whatnot. But, you know, I had to tell myself, you know, if I want to go further with my nonprofit, you know, I'm a half, I need to do what's necessary. Um, you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, you know, we all follow rules and regulations, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? We got to do certain things so we won't be incarcerated. You know, like <laughs> I can't slap them. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, and then, like I said, we were doing the work, you know, mm -hmm. for years and, um, and then a lot of the funding and everything was coming right out of my, right out of my pocket, right out of my little county check um, and whatnot. You know, thank God, you know, our team, shout out to Vita Bourne, who is our administrative um, director, Portia um, Dillard that's also um, a part of our core, and then um, <laughs> Freddie Washington. Um, you know, I, you know, I say, hey, I need, you know, or we need, and, you know, they, they provide, but it's, it's our team. You know, we're coming out of our pockets, and we don't mind it because we love what we do. Right. Mm -hmm. You, but, you know, we want some help, too, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, doing what we do. And so I said, you know, okay, I'm seeing how everybody else is moving. It's like, okay, Lou, you got to you gotta elevate. You got to get in this lane. And, you know, you're a businesswoman. I'm a businesswoman anyway, by yeah. heart. So it's, it, it was time. So. And how long has your nonprofit been in business? Um, I've, two years and some change now. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so we're growing. Yeah, yeah, so you have your, I, I assume your board of directors are, is yes. what you're referring mm -hmm. to. Yes. Okay, and yes. so how often do you guys um, kind of meet together and analyze and de determine what your guys' next steps are going to be as far as, um, you know, filling the calendar for the year or little things that you guys need to make sure that you're, you're doing to stay on target? Um, we definitely monthly um, meetings, but um, we need we meet as needed because if and we may be <laughs> they get tired of me. I, 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 <laughs> I mean, you know, so we we meet as needed um, in order to get things um, established and going. And as far as our calendar, yeah, we definitely will meet a year prior to you know our calendar. Like we already meeting right now for 2014 um, and 15. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 2024. I'm, yeah, 2024. 2024. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Years behind. yeah, I know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so definitely. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And what else do you guys? Um, because obviously, I know you have your nonprofit, mm -hmm. but I assume that uh, your other board members have other things that they focus on as well mm -hmm. um, outside of that nonprofit mm -hmm. is that correct oh yeah they have their own lives and their own um nonprofits like the Portia she has off the chain alliance which I love what she do actually we were just at the gun range shoot them up bang bang <laughs> yesterday for her fundraiser um to um to raise funds for her um her nonprofit um yeah so like our board members they um they have their hands in their own um things in that they do as well the vita has her born um, yes the vita has her born bites thank you okay. yeah her, her is that a non-profit as well no it's not a it's a business uh, um, okay food oh the desserts in the little jars oh. yeah <laughs> delicious Deli and then we have freddie washington who mm -hmm. is a photographer and he does um excursions boat excursions hey, in mexico. Look yeah Ooh, mexico okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's a blessing like yeah they you know they got their own lives so it's a blessing to be able to have individuals who got so much going on themselves to be able to still see the mission and the vision of what you got going on and say hey i want to contribute yeah and it sounds like they're all entrepreneurs like that's uh, fantastic i'm yep. sure that helps <laughs> a, a lot with the business uh, aspect of, absolutely. Um, of getting things together so that's fantastic absolutely Portia is like uh, I <laughs> she's uh, she's our connector she's our community liaison like 
Portia makes it happen. Like, oh, I've that. definitely seen her work ethic. <laughs> yeah, she she's amazing. I used to babysit Portia. What? When I first moved to California. No yeah. way. Okay. Yep, I used to babysit <laughs> her. That's little sis. Yeah, that is Loma so Linda, 1987. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you guys have known each other a long well, time. Well, I used to hang out with her cousin, Tani. And, uh-huh. and it, but it's just until Small I think. Small world. <laughs> I think maybe in 20, I want to say 15 or 16, maybe 17, um, she had, they were doing paparazzi because she was even selling paparazzi. Right? <laughs> that was, um, paparazzi. Everything. <laughs> and she had, I think they had like a, a like a, a like a um event going on and her aunt was came and she sat down and you know when you see somebody i'm like this lady looks so familiar <laughs> to me and i'm trying to figure out and then i was asking all these questions like hey so did you ever live in loma linda around the she was like no i didn't live around i'm like wait a minute and then she said her son's name tommy i'm like you are the lady because you have a, a daughter named tawny right and then i broke it down like i used to be up over there you had this type of people um, i used to take care of these people and she was like yeah, and then that's when we realized. I'm like, Lou was the cousin, the older cousin that used to. So she's been, she's, 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 she's been telling stories, there. right? Because when we were her cousin and I, she used to have us dress up um, as salt and pepper. So of course I was pepper, and her cousin was salt. So I'm salt and pepper. So she used to make us perform for yep. us. So yep. I've been no performing way. for her since I met her. That yep. is so yeah. amazing, <laughs> right? So you right. started this long ago, long, long, long ago. Long ago. And she wow, was in our that team. is fantastic. Right. <laughs> okay, doing talent shows. That is fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Shout awesome. out on Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is fantastic. Full okay, circle. so you guys have known each other for a really long time, it sounds mm-hmm. like. Yes. Um, now, so is that when you guys got reconnected at that point, once when you realized who she was? No, we no. we got reconnected in 2014 because she was also DJing. Mm-hmm. She also, oh, girl. Okay, I feel like <laughs> the easier question is, what don't you do? Oh, right. my gosh. But she was DJing at the Legion, the American Legion mm-hmm. on D Street by DN9, and I had, was with this gentleman he took me over there to have a drink, and she was DJing. She was mm-hmm. also doing a karaoke, and yeah. I walked in, and she called me Gladys Knight. Is everybody telling me I look like a young version of Gladys Knight? And they're like, Gladys, come here, Gladys. I need you on my show. <laughs> and then I walked up to her, and I gave you exchange. And then, yeah, she had a wonderful show when she used to have her um, her, her building on Rialto. Yeah, had right? my own little spot. Yeah, it was nice. Yep, she did. Yep. She looked it up. A little safe haven for um for artists, Yeah, um, especially hip-hop and rappers, because you know San Bernardino. And the empire is like eh, when it comes to um, you know rap artists and mm-hmm. um, and hip hop, and I'm really really big on that, you know. Yeah. So I just felt like um, they needed a spot, so we created. It was an underground spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was illegal. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> you know, I stopped Why it though. I stopped that? it. I stopped it. I was like, okay, I gotta do the right thing. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was going down at the underground. <laughs> Wait, so is that something that you could do uh, again, or it's not not a, um, allowed? No, no, no. If, if it's it's allowed, I just got to do it the right way this time, <laughs> okay. which eventually I do because my my all my end goal is. Um, you know, if you ask, you know, where do you see Lou Productions? No. Uh, is that okay? Oh, yeah. Never mind. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me let me she let me shut up. Yeah, well, okay. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Okay. Hey. That is so funny. Okay. Um, now, as far as um, with r- your day to day with mm-hmm. running your nonprofit, because mm-hmm. um, that's your primary focus is the nonprofit, mm-hmm. correct? Okay. And what about your for profit? Um, well, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. But I'm gonna say both of them are my primary focus: okay. the for profit and the non profit. So they yeah they run in neck and neck. So do they kind of coincide together then? Yes. Okay. They they do. they they do. Yeah. So um, and you asked what is my day to day with that? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Just pre- it's a lot of um conversations. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of phone calls. It's a lot of emails. It's a lot of meetings. Um, you know, to try to connect with individuals. Um, you know, e- either you trying to sell them your, you know, your dream on your vision on a certain event, or they're trying to sell you their dream, their vision, you know, their, you know, vision on a certain event and, um, trying to be able to connect, but it is, it's a full day. Um, 
it's really like having it's like having a child <laughs> you know if you um if, if anybody's ever experienced you know motherhood or fatherhood and having you know that baby or that toddler or whatnot that needs um care day to day you know you yeah. have to feed the child you have to clothe the child you got to bathe the child you got to sew into the child's life that's the same thing as a dang on business you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know i feel like every day you have to be doing something yeah something to be able to you know making sure you're elevating or you're staying on top when it comes to your your business you know what i'm saying yeah Visi I, visibility is everything that you know to me that's that's entrepreneurship in general mm -hmm. you know making sure that you're staying on top of the tasks that you need to get done right. i mean it's I, again, you know, I've said this before, but a lot of times people kind of think that, oh, these are people who don't want jobs and just want to have free time to do nothing. And it's like, no, no like I, we work harder than your average person that right. works the, their standard nine to five because right. we have certain goals that we need to accomplish. And in order to accomplish those goals, we have a lot of things to do. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. it, it's yeah. actually quite interesting, um, and the then, dynamic. And that's, a, and that's, and that's, you know, the individual who's work, you know, cause I, cause I'm still on that same, I'm still on that. Right. Side. You know, that's a for sure paycheck. Yeah. And with entrepreneurship, it, you know, everything is not a for sure thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're over here hoping that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in order to, you know, um, maintain a client or a contract or this, that, and the other. And, you know, and, um, and some days, you know, I haven't experienced, experience that because I have my nine to five, you know, mm -hmm. still, but you know, I have friends who are entrepreneurs and you know, there, you know, it's no money coming in, yep. you know, some take some days, you yep. know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. you know, you have to keep going, you it's know what I'm grind. saying? It's yeah. a it, total hustle, <laughs> total hustle, you know? So. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and go on another break. So we'll be right back with you. Awesome. Radio has openings for one-hour talk shows. If you want to host a radio show, now is the time. Make KCAA your flagship station. Our rates are affordable and our services are second to none. We broadcast to a population of 5 million people. Plus, we stream and podcast on all major online audio and video systems. If you've been thinking about broadcasting a weekly radio program on Real Radio plus the Internet, contact our CEO at 281-599-9800. 281 -599 you can Skype your show from your home to our Redlands, California studio where our live producers and engineers are ready to work with you personally. A radio program on KCAA is the perfect work from home avocation in these stressful times. Just type KCAARadio.com into your browser to learn more about hosting a show on the best station in the nation or call our CEO for details. 281-599-9800. Welcome back to the journey to business and entrepreneurship. My name is Brianna. I'm here with Portia Dillard hey, and hey. <laughs> Lude uh, Dirty. Dowdies. I apologize. No, okay. Okay. Um, so Portia, I know there was a, a question that you wanted to ask. Yeah. So now I want to address the where do you see the community services, uh, Lou Productions um, umbrella community services nonprofit. Where do you see that five years from now? Um, great question. I, I, five years, five years from now, I see, um, us with more visibility. Um, because like I said, you know, it's, this is two years of some change and you know, in the beginning, you're just getting the word out there, even though we've already been out there, but people know us as Lou Productions, you know what I mean? But I want them to know more of the non, the, the nonprofit side. So I just see, um, just more, um, visibility of, um, the nonprofit and us, um, um, being able to service um, individuals and meet their needs, um, you know, whatever it is that we're doing um, at that particular time. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Now, um, I, as far as, like, with entrepreneurship in general, um, are there, like, certain mindsets that you feel like we should have in order to be able to run a nonprofit or a business or something like that? Oh, yeah, that's a great question because <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, entrepreneurship and running a business is not for the weak. You cannot be a, a punk, yeah. <laughs> period. You know, if I, you know, I like to just be truthful and speak yeah. honest. Um, I sometimes, you know, might be to a fault people, like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can't be, you cannot be a punk being an entrepreneur or um, in business because it will it will break you. Mm -hmm. it, like I was saying, you know, sometimes there's money coming in, sometimes it's not. Yeah. You know, even though I have that, you know, the nine to five or whatever, but you know, those are for my regular bills or whatever the case may be. But I've had shows and to where I'll be like, oh my, 
I've cried. I've literally <laughs> cried like, oh my God, like this was not how it was supposed to be. Yeah. Where's the profit? And sometimes there's no profit. You know what I'm saying? And you have to take that L. But I, but you know, it's simply like it's a loss, but it's a lesson too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Of what not to do or or, or whatever. Um, but um, yeah, you just gotta have definitely have to. Um, you gotta be a self starter. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be you being your own cheerleader mm-hmm. sometimes <laughs> for real though oh, yeah, you be in the mirror like I girl like you know Mary J but I wake up baby good morning gorgeous I wake up every morning and like, no, no, but, uh, but, but that's real talk though I've no, had absolutely. those times where I had to really look in the mirror and be like girl you, you can do this you are strong you are more than conqueror greater is he who lives in you than he who lives in the word mm. world you know what I'm saying I have to start pulling out those, um, those scriptures you know re- and remembering the promise and um you know i really feel that you know god don't give us more than put on us more than we can handle and sometimes you'll be like why why but yeah. why not why not you you know yeah. so i definitely do feel like we can learn something in, in any situation mm-hmm. even in our in the times when we say that we failed at something right. Right. um it's definitely a, a learning experience for sure so i definitely understand that mm-hmm. perspective and then also you know as entrepreneurs like because i have definitely felt alone a lot and so I totally understand what you're talking about like you know going going at it you know I have these goals and dreams and stuff like that but you know maybe the people that are around me don't necessarily see my vision and that's okay of course so you know a lot of times and I hear that from a lot of entrepreneurs Mm -hmm. where they do feel so alone but honestly I think that's what what's great about the i3 social club too Correct. you know having a sense of community um the i3 social club in case you don't know it's a a local um a local club for entrepreneurs and business people to kind of come together um and kind of relax a little bit and also get educated on all things related to um business and uh Anything. investing right. yeah literally anything you know help you grow your business and stuff like that too so your nonprofit, yeah really nonprofit, yeah with, um, helping me with off the chain of life, yeah so. yeah absolutely nice, nice. Yeah, yeah so now as far as for you because i feel like you almost have a, a little bit of a challenge balancing the difference between having your nine to five and then also running your nonprofit. so i'm curious mm-hmm. to know what that actually looks like do you feel like that's a little bit of a, a of a struggle sometimes with your time Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and that's where my team comes in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, very, very um, much so um, to help. Um, you know, to help with that. I know that if I didn't have the nine to five, I know we will be way further than where we are. Yeah, because all my time, you're mm-hmm. having to split your time. Yeah, yeah, will be geared towards that. So, but it's coming. Um, you know, eighteen years. I don't know how many more years I'm a, you know, give. But um, but I'm uh, I'm ready to definitely um, run the race all the way um, <laughs> type of a thing. But you know, um, but I want you know gotta make sure I you know my, my right. T's are crossed and my uh, my eyes are dotted um, with that. But yeah, it definitely can be um, a challenge. Um, yeah. So then that brings me to the next question, and it might be a little bit of a challenging one. At what point do you feel like you can leave the, your nine to five comfortably? And focus a hundred percent on your nonprofit. And that's an excellent question. Um, when you know the answer, can you? Hear me? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in prayer, Queen. I'm, I'm in mm-hmm. deep prayer because I love my job. I yeah. love what I do because I service the community and, and the little, the, the little ones, zero to fivers. So. I love what I do yeah. and, um, and they allow me to grow and just flourish, you know, in that. And I met a lot of wonderful, um, people, th- um, through that, but, yeah. um, but I know what I have to do in order to, um, grow my business and, and, you know, and, um, <coughs> my company. So I'm in prayer about, you know, the retiring number versus the, like within a year or two, um, mm. situation. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in prayer. I just ask y'all keep me up in prayer too, because <laughs> it, it's a challenge, you know. Because and and, and and you know, and when and, and and you know, thank God, you know, I have a I'm a partner who's like, hey, when you want to go ahead and, and make that happen, but everybody don't got that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you know, people like, dang, it's scary. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it God. sounds scary. Yeah, if so I, I quit, totally that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you lose your safety net, your security. You know? Yeah, so it's like, it is. It's um so. 
I'm I'm in, I'm in, I'm in pair. But like I said earlier, you can't be no punk entrepreneur. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, but yeah, but God, you can't be no dummy either. You know <laughs> that medical and all that. Yeah. You know type of stuff. You know, so um, definitely. That, yeah, that definitely seems like a, a huge um transition point it from is. having that security to relying solely mm-hmm. off of you know, your primary focus mm-hmm. and goal in your business. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm excited to see that happen for you, though. Well, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. If I get a good enough contract to where <laughs> I can, like, hey, like, yeah, type of thing. But I do want to um, make a point, too, that I am the president for the Southern California Black Chamber of Commerce, the oh, okay. Inland Cities East chapter. Just wanted to shout out our president, Mr. Rich Wallace. Um, we meet every last Monday of the month, um, um, we are meeting at Valley College, um, but we are actually probably going to be changing our location. Um, we meet at 6.30 um, to about 8 o'clock, and it's um, just for um, individuals who are entrepreneurs, business owners, um, to be able to connect and, um, you know, and, and help one another and, um, and what it is that they're they're doing their business um, endeavors. But um, we work with um, a lot of different other organizations, such as the Hispanic Small Chamber um, Business of Commerce and the Asian um, Ch- um, Commerce Chamber of Commerce um, as well. And we have, I think, it's 18 chapters. So it's not Ooh. just our chapter. Yeah, that. In yeah. the Empire, we have a chapter in Hollywood. We have a chapter in Palm Springs, Temecula, Moreno Valley, um, Riverside, uh, Long Beach, Pomona. Um, so if you become a member of one chapter, you actually become a member of all of the chap. you know, get to network with all of the chapters. So this is a great um, melting pool of um, entrepreneurs and individuals. Well, since you touched on it, yeah. <laughs> why would someone join the chamber? Um, just because... Um, it's like I said, it's a great um, pool of um, individuals and entrepreneurs right. who have different resources. Uh, because sometimes, as an entrepreneur, you may not have all the tools or the skill sets. It may, you know, something you may um, come to a mixer and meet an individual, but like, oh, dang, that's what I needed. Oh, so you do notary. Okay. So for oh, networking, so and so networking and connections, okay. yes, um, as well. Or how to become, or just you know, how to become, how to become an entrepreneur, or mm. how to start. You know, yeah, you know. Um, you know, where do I go to get the licenses or the fees or, you know, um, permits and different things of that nature. So that's what the stuff that we provide um, at the chamber. So definitely check us out um, every last Monday of the month. Not this Monday because of the holiday. So we're going to do um, our mixer on the 22nd of this month. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so now getting back into nonprofits <laughs> again, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so with a nonprofit, um, what are your your step by step process? What is a step by step process that one has to go through in order to be able to successfully create their their nonprofit? Oh, um, well, you definitely have to um, get your 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 um, your license. Um, definitely, um, you have to your EIN number. Um, I I had someone who did all that for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, cause I'm not very versed into all that. Right. So I, I hire an expert. That's what, you know, what they get paid for. That's, you know, you're the expert, but, um, a gentleman that I worked with, he made sure that I had, um, you know, um, all my proper, um, certifications and, uh, um, that I needed in order to start my nonprofit, um, and, um, my tax ID number, things of that nature. So I can be able to go for different grants and stuff like that. And at what point can you actually start operating, I guess, as a nonprofit? Immediately after you have e- your EIN? Um, you can start, yes. I, yes, you can start actually operating, but you just can't. Um, you can go, yeah, after you get your 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 your, your number and all that, any other, you can go open up your bank account. But um, I don't believe you can start going after grants right away. Yeah, I think okay. it took me a minute to be able to go um, start going after grants. So There's certain places they want you to yeah, already have your five hundred one c three. So, but there are some, but there are some businesses that will um, donate to you, or you can actually partner with a nonprofit that already has their five hundred one c three. If you want to go mm-hmm. for a grant, it's just that you would have to split a portion of the with grant the, with, with them. them. Yeah, because yeah, that seems worth yes. it. I mean, yeah, because they're if they if you need it, and they're willing to help agents. you. Yeah, they're fiscal agent. Yeah. Okay, that's. 
quite cool. Yeah. So, okay, so after you create it, you have the legwork of actually building the nonprofit, getting mm-hmm. together your board of directors. And yes, that's very important. You got to make sure you get your board of directors together and and have those meetings um, and documentation. So it's documentation. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's extremely important because they're going to ask. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Your minutes. Mm-hmm. So when you have your board meetings, you do have to take minutes. So whenever they want you to either file them with the state, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's Secretary of State, they'll ask you to file them. So if you already have all your minutes in order, that's perfect. So is that every year, you're like when you do your taxes, that you're supposed to do that? Or? Not around tax time. Oh. It's, it's maybe maybe towards the end of the year, but they do ask for different things at different times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So it's important, yeah. you guys, as you stay up to date with your yes. minutes. But it's also important to have a great board of directors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, so then how do you select a good board of directors? Just... Based off of uh, people like wanting the same goal as you or that could be it. And yeah. somebody that has time because, right. like, you know, the thing with people like to utilize is once they get like when my situation, they're on the board. Mm-hmm. Now they don't have the time and that's the excuse of why they can't complete the task. Mm-hmm. But that was a part of it when you join. Right. You know, I don't have the time yeah. either, either. Right. <laughs> but you could definitely the get you someone who um, who's about that life. What I mean about that life is someone who might have had a, a nonprofit themselves or who may have worked in a nonprofit setting um, um, who can give you some guidance and things of that nature. Um, I'm, I'm looking for a grant writer. That's like the biggest thing right now. Definitely. Um, I feel like team. I keep hearing that. Because it's, it's, it's important. Mm-hmm. Huh. Extremely important. Extremely. Mm-hmm. Everybody got different skill sets. You right. Know, and, um, yeah, and a grant, that's the one who get the money for you. <laughs> you know yes. what I mean? So yes. it's important to get... A good grant writer. So okay, wow, interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go out on our last break, and then we'll be back and just close everything up. Okay, guys. Right. Sounds good. Thank you. Has openings for one-hour talk shows. If you want to host a radio show, now is the time. Make KCAA your flagship station. Our rates are affordable, and our services are second to none. We broadcast to a population of five million people. Plus, we stream and podcast on all major online audio and video systems. If you've been thinking about broadcasting a weekly radio program on real radio plus the internet contact our ceo at 281-599-9800 281-599-9800 you can skype your show from your home to our redlands california studio where our live producers and engineers are ready to work with you personally a radio program on kcaa is the perfect work from home avocation in these stressful times just type kcaaradio.com into your browser to learn more about hosting a show on the best station in the nation or call our CEO for details, 281-599-9800. Welcome back to the Journey to Business and Entrepreneurship. My name is Brianna, and I'm here with Portia and Lou. And we're going to pretty much, um, I'm going to go ahead and allow Portia to talk a little bit about her nonprofit here. Okay. Hello. Thank you again. Thank you for the opportunity. So yes, Off the Chain Alliance, it was important for me to start it was because um, from high school on when people passed away, especially low income people, I was noticing that it was difficult for them to get buried. It took them maybe a month or so in comparison to people who are already prepared. So I wanted to be a person to end funeral poverty. And I guess that's when I had to realize. And when my brother passed away, he passed away. He had an asthma attack. Um, he was walking, and he began to have an asthma attack, and he didn't have his inhaler in his pocket. So he passed out, and he died. And someone's driving, and they found him, you know, dead. So it's just once he passed away, and even though we lived in Loma Linda, we were considered middle class, it's just we still weren't able to afford something as simple as burying my brother yeah. and I think that a lot of people that who are disenfranchised or low income or considered minorities that's an issue for us because one thing I learned is that it's 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 hard for us to live disenfranchised minority families but it's even harder for them to die mm. and I just really want to provide a solution to that big problem and that big problem is is ending funeral poverty so um, that's really what I'm all about I'm really I'm here <laughs> To, to end funeral poverty, I'll keep right. saying it just like that, because it's, <laughs> it's, it's very much so needed. 
And um, that's what Off the Chain Alliance is all about, to help with the wraparound services for grief, because grief is a big thing. And grief is really what made me want to start the nonprofit, grieving my brother, the death of my brother. But this, to me, is the best way for me to honor him. That's fantastic. And his memory. Beautiful. And where can people find you? So I have um, Instagram at Off the Chain Alliance. I have a Facebook like page, Off the Chain Alliance. You can check out our website, um, offthechainalliance.org. And you can contact me. Um, my number is on the like page and also to off the chain alliance at gmail.com. If you have any questions you want to ask me, you can feel free to email me. That's awesome. And were there any events that you have coming up? Thank you for asking. Yes. So we do have a Juneteenth event that's coming up at San Bernardino Valley College, June 17th from 10 to 3 p.m. And off the chain alliance will have a vendor booth there. I'm also sit on the um, I'm also a committee member on the SB Juneteenth committee. Um, and then off the chain alliance, we're having um, a transformational therapy and sound bath July the 8th. That'll be virtual. And I will have all the information on my Instagram and my like page. So if anyone is interested, yeah, feel free to join us because it's going to be a great transformational sound bath. Um, I just want to deal with healing and um, yeah, I just really, really love for people to transform through the healing. And that's what we're trying to promote as well. And when did you say that one is? This is July the 8th and it's awesome. from 2 to 4 p.m. It's a free virtual event. Ooh, Thank you. Nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then Lou, you want to go ahead and um, sure. give us Okay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's your girl, Lou. No, but, um, so once again, thank you for allowing me this um, platform. Um, our um, nonprofit, um, Lou, LP, Lou Productions Community um, Umbrella Services, we are here to service um, the Inland Empire and I'd like to say and beyond because um, we don't discriminate. <laughs> um, and our goal is just to be able to um, to meet people right where they are. We um, infuse entertainment with causes. Um, we do have coming up um, in October, I'm uh, not October, I'm sorry, in August, it's the IE Black Health and Fitness. Is that, is I'm black, sorry? Yeah, Black Health and Fitness. It's Expo. the Black Health and Fitness Expo. August 26th. Um, <laughs> August the 26th, where we got a lot of different um, portion. It's a great link for that one. Um, different um, individuals together um, who are into health and fitness because um, nice. it's a business. So okay. um, and, and a lot more of our people are um, moving into that into that arena. So we just wanted to promote and highlight them. So it, um, that's happening. And then we have our youth competition coming up in July. And um, July what? July the 15th. So we're still looking for um, youth. If you're 19 and under, you can sing, dance, rap, tap. I don't care. Beatbox, um, <laughs> recite a poem. We would love to have you. It's just, it's an opportunity um, to display your gift and your talent and just get you um, a couple of more, you know, maybe some different skills and tools um, to help you with your career. Um, we'll have judges for that. So first place is 500. Second place is three. Third place is 250. So all together, Am I saying that? Did I say that right? Because it's a thousand dollars we're giving away all together. And two hundred would be third place. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, so fantastic. yeah, so check us out on our website. Um, we are collecting hygiene products um, as well. If anyone wants to um, donate, we will be giving those out um, in November um, when we do our um, annual feed the homeless. And this, what we do is um, we mobilize with that. He said two minutes. Y'all said two minutes. Y'all got two minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, where we mobilize and um, we um, we we cook and but we take the plates out to the homeless. We meet them. Oh, we nice. go up under you know the um the freeway ramps and into the um you know the the campments and um you know and, and and feed them so um we'll be giving out the hygiene products if anybody feel compelled to um want to help us um in any kind of way you can always um, visit our website at um lue i'm sorry no at um loop productions um <laughs> dot org or um lp community umbrella services um dot com um you can email us at lue dot info at yahoo.com or loop productions um at yahoo.com and we're on all um, social media platforms and um we thank you and um we love what we do and we're here for our city awesome thank you guys so much for being here today thank well, you for um, having just, us absolutely just the final last thing to mention is i3 social club if you guys are interested in learning more information listen to